So let's consider a couple of examples to show you how to apply the rules for graphical addition of vectors. Uh, from home, you walk 5.7 kilometers north, then 4.5 kilometers northeast, and then three kilometers southeast. And I'd like to know the displacement from home. So displacement is a vector. And in order to add these three vectors together, we're going to use the graphical rules that we've looked at. So first thing we want to come up with is a scale. So let's use 1.0 centimeters on the graph paper is equivalent to 1.0 kilometers in real life. And let's call up north. And so to the right would be east. Now we need to have an origin. I'm going to start down here in the bottom left-hand corner. That's uh, where my home is. And first thing I'm going to do is draw a 5.7 kilometer vector north. So that would be 5.7 centimeters. Now if you're doing this to scale, your drawing is going to be a little bit different than mine. I'm just doing this freehand. So that would be a 5.7 kilometer vector north. So hopefully uh, if you're doing that to scale, you would see uh, a centimeter, 5.7 centimeter vector straight up the paper. Now next I'm going to draw a 4.5 kilometer vector northeast. Well, I'm going to take my protractor and place it like so. And northeast would be at the 45 degree mark. And then I'm going to draw a 4.5 centimeter vector this way. Let's label that as 4.5 km. Uh, northeast and then finally uh, to draw my three kilometer vector southeast I'm going to take my protractor and sort of turn it upside down here find the southeast direction and then draw a three kilometer uh, or a three centimeter vector this way let's call that 3.0 uh, kilometers southeast so if I want to determine now my resultant from home that's going to be represented by this vector that spans from the beginning to the end. I'm going to draw that as a dashed line. It is a vector, so it has a magnitude and a direction. So that black arrowhead on there indicates that it's pointed sort of northeast. If I want to get the magnitude now, I can measure this length. So when I measure that length with a ruler and is drawn to scale, I would see that it measures about 8.5 centimeters. Well, my scale of one centimeter being uh, one kilometer would mean that that's 8.5 kilometers. And then I need to measure an angle. So I would choose this angle here. When I use my protractor, I see that that angle is about 52 degrees. So I could label that vector as 8.5 kilometers at 52 degrees. And that would be north of the east direction. So of east, I'm going 52 degrees towards the north. Now, I could just as well have described that angle. I'm going to call that beta. That angle would be the complement of 52, so that would be 38 degrees. And so I could have just as easily said that that vector was 8.5 kilometers at 38 degrees east of north. Now, if your numbers are not exactly the same as these, that's just because graphical drawings sometimes suffer from a little bit of inaccuracies. So first we're going to learn how to do things graphically, and then we're going to go ahead and make it um, more mathematical so that we can get exact answers. Let's try this one. From home, you drive east 1.5 miles, and then turn northwest for 5 miles, and then south for 2.5 miles. What straight line path would take you home? Notice that this is not a displacement. So whereas the other one, I was looking at how far away from home I was, this one is saying what path would take me home. So it's not a vector sum, if you will. We're still going to answer this question by drawing a scaled vector drawing. So I'm giving you a scale now of one mile is two centimeters. Another way to say that is 1.0 centimeters is equivalent to 0 0.5 miles. Let's call north up the paper. And so east would be to, to the right. And to draw this, we're going to start somewhere, I'm going to say down here. Okay, and first thing we're going to do is draw a 1.5 mile vector east. Well, that would end up being 3 centimeters long. In order to use my scale, uh, 1.5 miles would require 3 centimeters here to be able to draw that vector. So this would be 1.5 miles east. Next, I'm going to turn northwest. So 
I might take my protractor here and now draw a, let's see, five miles would be 10 centimeters long. And I'm going to draw that at a 45 degree angle from here. And again, yours is drawn to scale, mine is not. So this would end up being five miles uh, northwest. And then finally, uh, the last vector I'm going to draw is straight down. 2.5 miles would be 5 centimeters this way. And so 2.5 miles uh, south. Now, my answer to this problem is not a resultant. I'm not going to draw a vector this way. I'm asking here what straight line path would take me home. So I'm actually interested in this vector. I'm not going to draw it dashed. This is not a vector sum. That purplish vector that I've drawn there has a magnitude, which I could measure with my, with my uh, ruler, and it has a direction, and that direction would be pointed sort of southeast here. So when I go to draw that and do it accurately with a scaled drawing, what I would get is about 4.6 centimeters, which would be equivalent to about 2.3 miles. Okay, so that length would be a 2.3 mile vector. I'd have to travel that way. And then the angle that I would measure there, let's see what that is. That's about, looks like it's about 27 degrees. Uh, that would be south of east. And again, uh, you might not agree exactly with those uh, with those lengths or those angles simply because of the inaccuracies of drawing things uh, to scale.